influence among your people, Chief Rakuan. You may be sure that the great king across the sea will be grateful for your help. And how do I know you speak the truth, Colonel Merivel? Is not your great king a white man? Are not the settlers his own people? The settlers were his people, but they have disobeyed him. If you had children and they despised you and armed themselves to fight against you, what would you do? I would disown them. They would be my children no longer, and I would make war upon them. You understand, then? It's the same with the great king. That is why he asks permission to let one of his men attend the council when you bring together the chiefs of the West. Mm -hmm. What man shall that be? His name is still unknown to me. But you will know him by this. He will be the man with the key to this bracelet. If I lock it on your arm, only he can take it off. With a white man present, even though he is British, the other chiefs may not accept my plan. Then keep him hidden. Let no one else know he is there. Hmm. What is his purpose? To report to me whatever decisions you make. How else can I know when and how to help you? Hmm. Huh. He will report to you here? Yes, here on the frontier of Kentucky, where we will strike when the moment comes. Until then, our presence must remain secret. Does the great king have Rakuan's permission? to the entire situation. the Mohicans dwelt on the shores of the great ocean. And when the first white man appeared, we welcomed them as friends. We gave them land. But then came others, and still others, and still others, until they were strong enough to take by force the land that was still ours. And today, the few Mohicans that are left must hide behind the western mountains. It will be the same with you and your people, unless we unite now to drive the white man back over the mountains and into the sea from whence he came. There can be no mercy, no warning. From the warm rivers in the south to the snows in the north, we must all strike at the same time and rid our land forever of the white invaders. You have all spoken with many voices. Now let each man speak for himself and for his people. Chief Shen Rogan of the Shawnee.
Ongas of the Hurons. Chief Quanab of the Cherokee. Chief Quanab is very old and cannot be here. He has sent me to represent him at the tribal council. Then speak, Mingo. It is from the Cherokee that the white men, led by Daniel Boone, has taken the most land. Do you let them take the land of your fathers? Or do you save it for the Cherokee? Cherokee have a treaty with the white men in Kentucky. Am I to tell Quornap to break the treaty and break his word? Is Quornap not a member of the tribal alliance? He is. Then to whom does he owe his allegiance? To those who have invaded his land or to his own people? Daniel Boone has always dealt honorably with us. Yes, but Daniel Boone is only one man. Hundreds have followed him. Thousands more will come. Your treaty is not with them. Then I will tell Quornab that it is the will of the council to break the treaty. Tell Quornab only what you have heard here. When next the full moon rises in the east, every tribe west of the Appalachians will strike. Tell Quornab that, and he will know what to do. And what will happen east of the mountains, where the colonists are many times our numbers? In the east, the colonists are at war with the British. That is why we strike now with the help of the British. You can't believe that just because the British are at war with their colonies, that they intend to give up America to the Indians. The British soldiers do not build fences or plow the ground. When they are finished fighting, they return across the sea. They've never done that anywhere else. Why do you argue, Mingo, when all the others are agreed? I know why he argues. He's a friend of Daniel Boone's. He himself had a white father. I should never be here. I wish I were not. I wish I knew nothing of all this. Because now, whichever way I turn, I destroy myself. What do you mean? It is true. Daniel Boone is my friend. If I fail to warn him, I am guilty of his death and the death of all his people. And I cannot lift my head again. And if I do warn him, then I am guilty of betraying those I consider to be my own people. And the worst torture that you could devise would be too kind for me. So then, what is your answer? Death would be the easiest answer. And if not death, imprisonment. Here with you until this is all over. Send someone else to tell Cornab. No. Cornab might not believe another. You must report to him. But I will send Chen Rogan with you to be certain that your report is truthful. That is not necessary. I represent Chief Quanab. I will never betray my people. Good. But still Chen Rogan will go with you. Go now! Return to your tribes and prepare! <laughs> Englishman? Yes, I heard, but I'm doubtful about that Cherokee. He will not betray us. Perhaps not deliberately, but I've heard that Daniel Boone is a very astute man, particularly concerning the ways of your people. If Boone and that Cherokee talk at all, Boone may get suspicious. Yes, but if Mingo avoids Boone, Boone may also get suspicious. Right. So I must trust one of your runners to take this dispatch to Colonel Merivale, because I'll be delayed in introducing myself. What are you going to do? 
I'm going to try to reach Boonesborough before Mingo does and make it impossible for Boone to talk to anyone. Uh, with Boone gone, success is more certain. But if you are seen... That'll hurt nothing. No one except you knows who I am or that I've been here. <laughs> to this log so you won't drift away and you can fish to your heart's content. All right, Pa. What are you going to do? And I'm going to build a fire for your ma to cook all those fish you're going to catch. Everything's ready for lunch, Israel. All you have to do is catch it. Come to him, son. I'm coming. Hey. That a boy. Pa! Look at him! Wow, Pa! This is the biggest one I ever saw. Just about the biggest fish I ever saw. Might be enough for all three of us. Well, I don't know, son. Your ma's mighty fond of fish. Daniel Boone. Look, Ma! Oh. Well, it looks like Israel's turning out to be the same hunting and fishing wanderer that his father is. Well, it stands to reason the son of Donald Boone wouldn't turn out to be nothing else. Well, Mr. Boone, would you care to clean this fine fish? Glad to, Miss Boone. Do you know him? No, I never saw him before. She wasn't looking where he was going. He's still breathing. Has a heartbeat. Do what you can for him, Becky. I want to have a look up above. He may have had company. Yeah. What? What is it? What yeah. are you trying to say? Can you hear yeah. me? Chief. Rock water. Ka. Ka. Ansel of tribes. Ah. Kill Boone. Did he say kill Boone? Oh. Sounded like it. Ah. Dan. He said something about killing ah. you. Killing me? I never ah. laid eyes on him. He said kill Boone. He said something else, too. Something about a council of tribes. And an Indian name. Yes, Chief something. Chief? What did it sound like? Rakawan? Rakawan. Chief Rakawan. He's sometimes known as the Oracle. He hates white men. Can't say that I blame him after what happened to the Mohicans. Maybe he meant it's Chief Rakawan who wants to kill you. Rakawan's the one that called the powwow that Mingo went to. If he were here, he might know who this man is. Well, let's get him back to the cabin, then I'll track down Mingo. Dan? Looks like we won't be taking him anywhere. Plans and decisions reached by the Council of the Tribes. And 
I told it incorrectly or left anything out? You have reported well, Mingo. And all agreed, you say? Except for your own voice. I could be your eyes and your ears, but the decision is yours. At sundown, when the next full moon rises in the east, or a surprise attack, such a long delay can be dangerous. Words escape, suspicions arise. There had to be time for the others to return to their tribes. Some came from far away. True. Then it must be done. We may never again have the chance to regain the land that in ignorance we gave away. You disagree? Yes. You think we dishonor our treaty with Daniel Boone? Yes. But to do otherwise is to betray our brothers who will risk their own lives believing we are sweeping the white man from Kentucky. That also is true. Kornap speaks with the mind. But the heart remains unconvinced. I have sentenced my friend and those he loves to die. It is a matter of survival. There is no other way. I think there is. For even if we kill all the white men west of the mountains, they will come again and in even greater numbers. And this time, they will come in vengeance to wipe us out. What is your solution? Adopt the white man's ways. To speak his language, to learn the use of his tools, to fight him with his own laws instead of lances and arrows. Mingo speaks wisely. Why does my husband wish to make war with a white man when already he has given two sons in such a war? Has not the Cherokee sacrificed enough blood? Chief Cornell permits woman to raise her voice in Cherokee Council? Winona is wise with age, but she speaks with the heart of a mother. My wife will leave the Council and concern herself only with the duties of a woman. If the Indian adopts the white man's ways, then he is no longer an Indian. Ken Rogan is right. Better to die fighting for the freedom of our streams and forests than to go on living imprisoned by fences and chained to the plow. Never spoken, it shall be as he says. When next I face Daniel Boone, it will be to kill or be killed. Not so. Until this is over, you will be under guard. But you know I will never betray our people. Not with words, perhaps, but even the look in your eyes could arouse Boone's suspicions. It will be better for you this way. All temptation will be removed. Take him to the cave of whispering winds. Let the Shawnee do as well as the Cherokee, and the next full moon will shine only on the red man. It shall be, Quanap. Why does Quanap look at me so strangely? Am I not welcome? And what brings Daniel Boone to the land of the Cherokee? I'm looking for my friend Mingo. Mingo is not here. Has he not yet returned from the tribal council? No, he has not returned. I see Chin Rogan, chief of the Shawnee. Were you not at the tribal council? Yes. Was not Mingo there? Yes. You're back. Why isn't Mingo back? Or is there something you don't want to tell me? True. We have difficulty telling you. 
You are Mingo's friend, but seek him no more. At the tribal council meeting, Mingo disgraced the Cherokee nation. And he has been forever forbidden to return to the land of his people. I see. Disgraced himself. How? What takes place at the Council of Indian Tribes can never be told to white man. I see. He's built a strong bridge between us. I hope that bridge remains. been like the adopted son of Winona and Kornab. Am I also to lose Mingo in war with white men? The war will come and go while I remain a prisoner in this cave. When the killing is over, will you go free? My body will be free. Is there no way Mingo can prevent such a war? How oh, I a prisoner? If you were set free, would still be no way. I cannot fight two battles at once. To win one, I must lose the other. It's better that I stay here. It is easy for Mingo to hide his face in the cave of the Whispering Winds and not see such a war, where many will be killed. Winona remembers such a war before the Cherokee made peace with the white man. My sons, still boys, were shot down like the buffalo before they could become men. White mother also lost many sons because man must make war over the land. Is not life more important than the earth where the stream runs and the tree grows? Life is more important. Then why can't Indian and white man live together in peace in such a place? Winona knows only the history of her own tribe. But I have studied the history of the entire world. There have always been war between men of different countries and races. And these wars have always been fought over the land. I do not understand such war. Nor do I. When one is part of two races, it's even more difficult to understand. Already the braves cover themselves with war paint and the women prepare themselves for mourning. If Mingo were to talk to his great white friend, could not something be done? No, nothing. But your friend has much power over Indian and white man alike. To warn Daniel Boone would be to betray my own people. Are not the white men also your people? Yes. That's why it's better that I be kept a prisoner. Here in this cave, I, I cannot take sides. Winona is not held prisoner. Perhaps I can talk to the great white man. No, Winona, you mustn't. Winona! Maybe it's true. I don't know any other reason why Chin Rogan would be there. Until Rakawan got the tribes together, Chin Rogan and Quonab have always been bitter enemies. I keep thinking about what that man said about the tribal council, about killing Daniel Boone. What you're trying to say is if there is a plot against me, maybe Mingo found out about it. Tried to stop it. And got himself into trouble. Something like that. We only knew who that man was who fell off the cliff. And he must have had some sort of identification. 
Well, there was nothing on him. There was nothing up there from where he fell. Israel, how would you like to go fishing today? Let's go! Oh, again? I thought maybe Israel could catch some more fish and I could have another look around. Well, shall I prepare a supper or is Israel going to bring it home? To be on the safe side, maybe you better prepare a supper. You know, if that fella had anything on him when he fell, he could have landed in the water. Come out here. Going after it, Pop? Might as well. I think I see something. for a man to carry his powder and his shot. Because that's what made the bag sink. And there's nothing to tell who he was. Unless it's these papers. They should be dry enough now. Colonel Arthur Maryvale. Commander Chief, British Forces, Ohio Territory. You mean that dead man was a colonel? No. It looks more like he meant to visit this colonel. Remember he was dressed in ordinary hunter's clothes? Go ahead, Dan. Open it. I don't much like to break this seal. What's wrong with that? Well, nothing, maybe. It's official-looking mail, and it's addressed to the British commander. Anyway, the, the send is so close. My esteemed friend, this will introduce the bearer, Byron Honeywell. Byron Honeywell. At least we know his name. Go on, Dan. A most devoted and trustworthy servant of His Majesty George III, serving with the Intelligence Department of the British Admiralty. What does that mean, Pa? Well, it's a polite way of saying he was a British spy. You may give Honeywell your complete trust in the handling of any confidential matter. Sincerely, Gilbert Lord Ramsey. What do you do about it, Dad? I'd better get these papers to someone in the Continental Congress. Honeywell had to be sent here for some purpose. Winona, come in. What is it? It's about Mingo. He has not been sent away. He is held prisoner. Prisoner? By whom? Chief Konab. Why? To tell would violate the silence of the tribal council. It's for Mingo who has the white man's heart to reveal. Did this happen after he got back from the tribal council? Yes. This whole thing gets more and more puzzling. Chen Rogan in the Cherokee camp, this fellow Honeywell. Quonab lying to me about Mingo. Where is Mingo? In the cave of the Whispering Winds. I don't know where that is. There are guards. Well, guards are not.
Take leave before someone sees us together. Mingo, will you tell me? Come on. seen together we'll be killed we'll try not to be seen together can you tell me what this is all about no and now that i've escaped i'll be killed anyway and you still can't tell me no what do you know about a man named byron honeywell i never heard of him he was a british spy and he was killed in this area daniel why don't you take israel and rebecca and go east Go tonight. I'm not going any place. It'll be better for all of us. Well, this might not solve my problem, but it may solve yours. And now, Daniel, if all goes well, those that you love will still be alive on the night when the moon is full. Could not stand it. His white blood was too powerful. But he did not try to escape. Someone came for him. We were attacked. I know only one man who would do that. Find Daniel Boone. Find them both. And kill. darling and you don't have to remind me can i stay up until he gets back i have no way of knowing how long that'll be dan open the door rebecca it's mingo 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 well, where's dan he went to find you he, uh, he found me, Rebecca. I hope he's all right. He sent me to take you and Israel away. Take us away? Yes, right now. Get a coat, Rebecca. You too, Israel. Hurry, there's no time to lose. Go like this? Yes, yes, come on. Did you move, Rebecca? No. I'll not move a step until I know where Dan is and why we're doing this. I can't tell you that. He'll follow as soon as he can. 
Well, if you can't tell me... I won't go. I don't think Dan sent you at all. Open the door, Israel. taking you, he might not follow. He would think his allegiance lay elsewhere. A greater allegiance than to his own family? Sometimes, Rebecca. Come on. I do not know if Mingo has betrayed us or not, but we must take no chances. He must not escape. Mingo, I can't go any further. I just can't. I've got to rest. Who goes there? Jolly strange place for a woman. <laughs> why are the British this far south of the Ohio? And why so secretive? Trapper, but we brought him in. Why, uh, Colonel Maryvale? If you know that, you're no trapper. Who are you? Perhaps this will explain. I took a bit of a dunking. I hope it's still legible. Mm. say your reputation for disguises is well deserved. Sit down, sit down. I would 
have taken you for a born backwoodsman. Oh, thank you, Colonel. I have had a mite of practice. Mite of practice. <laughs> That's perfect. Yes, perfect. How about a mite of Madeira? Do you mind if I do? Here's to the success of our plans, the part you've had in them. Your dispatch gave us just the information we needed. <clears throat> My uh, dispatch, yes. Uh, that would be the uh, dispatch from... Uh... The tribal council. You didn't send any others, did you? No, that was the only one. May I see that dispatch, Colonel? I wonder if I made reference to a certain matter. Certainly. I have it here somewhere. Ah, there. I don't understand it. The commanding officer and Daniel acting like old friends. That settles it. I'm going to get Israel and join him. No, Rebecca. Wait. Mingo? Huh? Is it complete? Yes, it's all there. The tribes will simultaneously attack the settlers. The night of the full moon, I believe that's two nights hence. Right. What about the matter you felt you might have slighted? Oh, uh, it was a mere reference to Daniel Boone. Oh, yes, that. What about Boone? Did you take care of him? Uh, I would say, Colonel, that uh, he was very well taken care of. What are you doing here? I'm looking for my ma. Come with me. And so I take it that when the tribes attack the settlement, the British will join in and make the massacre complete. No, nothing so outrageous. After all, England wants to keep this country. Well, you can't mean that you plan to defend the settlers. No, but we'll make it look as though we tried. We let the Indians attack, let them loot, burn, and kill. And then, after the settlers are gone, and while the Indians are still exhausted, we will attack the Indians. Two birds with one stone. Uh, what do you know now? Found this tyke wandering about in the woods. It says he's looking for his ma. Colonel, the Indians are trusting the British. <laughs> I'm surprised that such a man as you are, Honeywell, would worry about military expediency. In any case, I have no choice. Here are Lord Ramsay's orders. Very good, sir. And now, if you'd be so kind as to offer me a nightcap, I'd like to get a good night's sleep. Right. All right, now. You were with your mother and someone called Mingo. Now, how long ago did they leave you? I don't know. I was asleep. Well, what's your mother's name? Becky. Oh, her last name? Boone. My father's name is Daniel Boone. Israel. There's my pa! 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 Honeywell, what's the meaning of this? Wait now. That's not Honeywell, Colonel. That man's Daniel Boone. Stop it! Fire! that way. East. We've got to get to Quonab. Quonab, but he's threatened to kill us all. There's something you don't know. The British are going to attack the Indians after the Indians massacre the settlers. And there's a proof right in your own hands. Now, come on.
First we find out what they have done. betrayed your people? No, Kornov. I have not. And yet our people are about to be betrayed. Here are the talking pages of the British, are words that spell death to the Indians if they attack the settlements. said retreat. Now that Boone has told the Cherokees of our plans, the whole campaign is canceled. They're calling it off. Yes. And there's still time to send out runners to stop the other tribes before the full of the moon. Necessity, Daniel. Pure necessity. Yeah. <laughs> Help me off the canoe. It's drifting downstream. Daniel? 